What can happen sometimes with these machines is if um, there's been a bit of trouble, you know, maybe a jam or something in the uh, bobbin case area. The what what can happen is if someone's have a, had a little uh, fiddle around in here and and uh, move things, especially this uh, latch here. So this latch can actually be um, lifted up and moved out of the way. And that allows the bobbin case to just sort of float around in there. And I've seen machines turn up where the latch is in this position. It's uh, in the disengaged position. So you definitely wouldn't want to be sewing with that, with it like that. Um, and this here is just floating around, right? So you don't want to see that. That This uh, latch here should always point in the direction of um, sewing. So that's just totally... Uh, out of the question there so it's really quite simple to sort out I mean you can even pull these uh, right out actually I think you have to take the plate off this uh, magnetically held in plate there that whole oh, I might have to take the bowl out this whole Thing can just pop right out, bobbin case. Okay, so um, you'll see a channel here, and that is to uh, run this race here on the hook. There's a hook race there, that is to run down in the channel there. So it's really just a matter of repositioning, you know, getting this back into position there. So you can tell it's in the right place when um, you can see that, I'll get closer in here, you can see the hook race there, you can see that that's, you know, not in position there, it needs to be right up to the left there, so you can't see that actual hook race there, you want it like that, and that this latch here, is pointing away from you when you close it. So when we close the latch, it should be pointing straight back. You know, if there was a bobbin in there, it would be pointing straight back like that. But you don't want this floating around in here like that. So you just bring this latch back. So if you push it to the left, you'll hear it clip down. And that, that's actually down on a screw down in here so you can see the the latch finger there what can happen is the, um, the this can come up off the uh, screw there so out of position so to bring it back you can just push it across and you can hear it click in so this screw here should be um, you know in this little cutout here and you shouldn't be able to move this left or right without lifting it up. So actually lifting it like that. So that's quite a uh, common fault that I see with this type of machine. And um, quite a good idea is to put a little bit of oil down in here, just on the hook race there, every so often. Um, there are other oil points in this machine, but I won't go through that right now. And the um, you know then you can just load your bobbin as you normally would. Put the latch down, put the plate back on. You're pretty much ready to sew again. Just test it by picking up the thread. That seems fine. Everything seems fine there. And then just um, maybe when you're uh, starting off for the first time after a little problem like that I'd be tempted to just um, you know manually turn the machine over for a few stitches make sure nothing else is jamming and that seems fine there